top ten reasons we're going to be top ten. <laughs> Number one, they suck. Number two, they suck. Number three, four, five, they suck. Number six. five, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine, and ten, they suck. Yeah, that covers it. That just about covers it. You can expect destruction is what you can expect. Destruction! That's what I'm talking about. We're here to win. Are we back? Of course we're back. We lost by some fluke defense stuff. We lost some fluke for some sideways crap. I mean, who watches that movie for God's sakes? Apparently, Finstock It's the only it question he knew. Box oh my God! Right now, going to the final! Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Ah, oh 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 2015, a great year for wine and a terrible year for Rotten Tomatoes and trivia competition. We'd been drinking all day, you know, we didn't really take it all that seriously. Schmoes will go to the final. The Schmoes will go to the final. It is their tournament. They have they have run the gamut. I feel like you're taking uh, you're taking shots at the wrong people because today is going to be totally different. John, do you think Rotten Tomatoes is going to be a tough competitor? I think they're absolutely going to be tough. Am I scared of them? No. Of course not. I'm not scared of anybody. Why would you be? Yeah, it's right. We we top ten don't get scared of nobody. John Roca is there's always so much coming from that guy, like energy wise, like there's so much intensity. And I don't even really like feel that in my heart today. I just feel like we're gonna walk all over them and just go home and have a cake. Yeah, is it wrong that I'm just kinda like casual, that I'm not really that worried? No, I mean that's the vibe that's I mean, happening. You get amped up, that's cool. Well, you know. Rotten tomatoes? Check out that. That's going to be your score at the end of this. That's right. Zero percent on the tomato meter. You're going down. We're going to take you down today, and then we're coming for you, Sean. That's right. We're like a Marvel movie. We're going to be way better than you. I know you hate DC movies, right? Everyone knows you hate DC movies. We're coming to mess that ending up. We're coming after you. We're going to destroy you. You know, I have a message for top ten. Listen up. It's not often we certify people rotten. Top ten, certified rotten. Damn! You ever been gored before? We're gonna win the belts at the Schmodown Spectacular. No Snyder are gonna take that thing and put it around where it belongs. The top ten waste. And then I'm gonna win that singles competition, and then we're gonna take this thing, and we're gonna be double champions. Ken, what you gonna do when top ten runs wild on you? Ooh. Hello friends and welcome back to the movie trivia showdown. My name is Mark Ellis and this is Christian Harlan. John Campia? What? John Campia is joining us for a very special edition of the team matches. John, we got a pretty good one today. This is going to be an incredible matchup. On paper, this could be one of the most formidable matchups we've ever seen. You've got team top 10 on a huge roll. John Roca just recently coming off maybe the most impressive performance we've ever seen in singles competition against Christian Harloff. Nose coming off a rather embarrassing defeat to Dewberry, but still they're in a rural. And then you've got a consummate powerhouse in Rotten Tomatoes. I have been looking forward to this one. I'm wearing the green shirt because this match is fresh, but one of them is going to end up <laughs> rotten and not going to be able to compete for the team movie Schmodown belt that you see right there that is currently held by me and Christian Harloff, who's hiding in my trunk right now. The winner <laughs> of this matchup will get a shot at these belts against Team Schmoes. The loser goes to hell for all eternity. There's been a lot of history in the team tournament with these two programs. I mean, you have Team Top 10. They had everything going for them, and one of the biggest upsets we've ever seen in the Schmodown is when Team Box Office Breakdown managed to knock them out in the semifinals. Who would have thought that a team led by Finstock and JT he had so much power. And you know, even more surprising is today that Team B.O.B. no longer exists. They're that is a, a thing. phantasm in the wind. They're not around anymore. And yes, that started off a chain reaction of Team B.O.B. and JTE surprising a lot of people. And that was kind of the wake up call for everybody. Rotten Tomatoes, uh, no doubt a formidable opponent for me and Christian, but we managed to knock them out in the semifinals of the tournament as well. You know, there's some controversy that's been brewing though about the team matchups, namely the rule. We recently had a matchup, John. 
between the Patriots yes. and the so-called mega powers that ended in somewhat of a lopsided score, probably the biggest blowout in history. And Josh McCuga and Bob Finstock had a little bit of something to say about that. Yeah, they registered a protest with uh, the Schmoes board, if you will, uh, following their protest of the rules. Their name was officially changed from Mega Powers to the Whiny Baby Sucky Thumbs, which I think you know works really well for them. I think they should wear that name with pride. But it did cause the governing bodies to take a look at the rules and maybe make some changes. So we did make some tweaks that maybe would have helped out the Mega Powers. Instead of losing 19 to three, they would have dropped their match 18 to five. In the first round, it's gonna be a little more- Covers a lot of, covers a lot of, uh, a lot of ground in the betting pools. <laughs> so a lot of faith, a lot of people in Vegas got burned. And now it is time to get the golden throat ready. John Campia, do you think you have it in you to make these introductions? Oh, I've got it in me, but this match is big enough that it warrants another voice. Mine? No. Christian, Christian Harloff. Harloff. Oh, what's up, champ? Whoa. Okay, you guys ready? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown team league. Introducing first, with a record of two wins, one defeat. They are the 2015 Ultimate Schmodown semifinalists, Matt Nose, John Roca, Team Top 10. And here they are coming out in all their glory. Out first, and John Roca might be on some sort of PEDs, John. His hands look awful big for that He's body. been working very hard at being the master of his own domain, and the results are clear. Is that a straw? That, that's a camelback that he has. <laughs> it is. Three rounds, and you need all the hydration you can get when you're going up against their opponent. And their opponent with a record of two wins, one defeat, also, the 2015 semi-finalist for the Ultimate Schmodown, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Anthony Gray Drake, Team Rotten Tomato! And here they, oh, oh, how do you compete against a unicorn? A unicorn and a sight we rarely see, a sexy guy in a Hawaiian shirt. Look at that, in they come. The, I'm telling you, this is like an unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. I cannot wait to get this one rolling. You know, John Campy, according to the critics on Rotten Tomatoes, each one of those entries is rated fresh at 93%. Impressive. Very well done. We hope you guys didn't burn all the energy up in those intros. And if any one of you guys get thirsty, just check out John Roca's back. That's right. Are you guys ready Camelback. to compete in the movie trivia showdown? Uh, almost. I, I do have a quick message I wanted to pass on from our good friend Scott Mance. Oh. Bespin. Oh, oh, oh. Getting that's dirty it. with the that's it. down into the you know dirt right away. Giant Roca, <laughs> Bespin, the gas mine planet, like a bad fart. It just will oh. not go away, <laughs> lingering around Roca for all eternity. Sure to be in his obituary paragraph one. I avenge that loss. <laughs> Now, we do want to remind you guys that we did a little bit of the tweaking to the rules for the team tournament, so we'll keep you guys updated as we go along. In round one, each member of the team is going to get three questions. Each question is worth one point. You may not consult with your teammate on these questions, and there's also no stealing in round one. Rotten Tomatoes, you guys are listed as the favorite in this matchup. Would you prefer to answer your questions first, or would you rather go second and defer to top 10? What do you think? They're deferring to each other, John. Yeah, always. <laughs> I move. think we'll defer. Mm. They are going to kick off to Team Top 10. Team Top 10, would you like to answer questions from Category 1 or Category 2? We're going first. Yeah. We'll take number one. Yeah. Not a lot of authority in either one of those answers, John. It's going to be interesting <laughs> to see how that plays out I think they're in rattles. the match. They are going to go from one, and you guys are kicking off. So John Campia will be asking the questions first to Matt Nost, and then we'll go over to Rotten Tomatoes. When we come back, I'll be asking the questions to Roca. All right, Matt Nost, round one. Your first question comes under the category of animated. Which Disney animated film features the vocal talents of Tate Donovan, James Woods, and Danny DeVito? Hercules. 
Correct, starting Whoa. off the match strong. All right, three sexy men right there. All right, for your second question, under the category of comedy, which comedy features the restaurant shenanigans as a central location? Oh, sorry, was that to me? Yes. Yeah. Um, can you repeat it? I'm sorry. Which comedy? Yeah, it's one point. He's I was lost in Makuga's eyes. I apologize. <laughs> Which comedy features the restaurant Shenanigans as a central location? Office Space. Incorrect. Oh. We were looking for waiting. Oh, jeez. Oh, great. You were thinking of Chachki. <laughs> Your third question. Hasn't Ryan Reynolds suffered enough? <laughs> also going to you, Matt. <laughs> Under the category of drama. What drama stars Gene Hackman and Willem Dafoe as FBI agents investigating the disappearance of some civil rights activists? Mississippi Burning? Correct! He yeah. recovers from the nice. comedy. Oh, and Team Top Ten races into a 2 nothing lead. Very well done. Now I will be asking the questions to Miss Gray Drake. How you doing? <laughs> in those very same categories. Flirting with the judges does get you points. Certainly with this judge. Gray, in the world of animation, from the creators of Ice Age came no. this film that follows the adventures of Rodney Copperbottom. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, let's see. Something that'll make your kid dumber. Uh, <laughs> um, Five. Four. Uh, how to Train Your Dragon. You're looking for robots. Ah. Robots. Yeah. yeah. Made children sure. stupid in 2005, I believe. <laughs> Comedy. Gray, who played Barry, the snake babysitter, in the movie Road Trip? Oh, uh, that would be uh, Tom Green. One point for Rotten Tomatoes there on the board. And now we move on to drama. Craig T. Nelson plays the coach of Tom Cruise in what sports drama? Oh, man. Oh, I know exactly what year it came out, but I can't remember the name. It's football. Five, and four. Oh, I'm three. just going to say risky business because it's a Tom Cruise movie. It is, but no Craig T. Nelson. We were looking for all the right moves. All the right moves. <laughs> Oh, you're wearing shot. pants with mustaches on them. Settle down. In Pittsburgh. <laughs> All right. And Pwned. now uh, John Campia will actually be asking John Roca. That's right. We go back over to team top 10. Roca, your three questions start Campia. under the category of horror. Oh, jeez. The curse of Michael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Connick Jr. plays a deranged killer in what 1995 thriller? Copycat. Correct! Gray Drake had an emotional reaction to that movie. <laughs> <laughs> or an emotional John reaction to Harry Connick Jr. Yeah. John Roca, yes. your next question. Under the category of action adventure, who starred as Face in the 2010 feature film The A Team? Bradley Cooper. Correct! Another point up for Team Top 10, racing out to a 4 to 1 lead. You got nothing. And for the final question for Team Top 10 in round number one, under the category of movie quotes, mm. which comedy features the quote, I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Oh. Meet the parents. Correct! Oh, John oh, Roca oh, runs oh, the board! Oh. All right, Matt. Looked like as if he was being milked himself there for a minute, but he managed to get the correct answer. And now Rotten Tomatoes with their first real pressure of the match so far, needing some points to catch up before we get into round two. Matt Atchity, your first question is horror films. How many films into the celebrated Leprechaun franchise did he go to a distant planet? Four. That is correct. How did he answer that? That was nice amazing. Point. That oh, is Matt Ashby for job. you. The wily leprechaun himself went to a distant away planet. If you haven't seen the movie, do not. <laughs> and now we move on to action adventure. Mr. Ashby, which James Bond movie featured actor Sean Bean as the villain? Goldeneye. Another point for nice. Rotten Tomatoes. Again. You're roaring back, nice, John. Dude. Closing the distance. Movie quotes is the final category and the final question in round one, Matt Ashby. Which movie features the quote, 
Look, you shoot up a guy's head with his pants down, believe me, Texas is not the place you want to get caught. Natural born killers? Looking for Thelma and oh, Louise. Ooh. Thelma and Louise, Guess the movie that Team Top Ten watched and inspired them to yeah. pair up. And now we move on to round two when the tides can really turn. Team Top 10 in the lead, five to three over Rotten Tomatoes. Team Top 10, you will get to choose whether you want to spin first or second on the wheel that is about to be brought out by Pittsburgh's own Josh the Wild Man Hercules. Yeah. Whiny yeah. little baby yeah. body, Makuga. <laughs> they can't stray, they're also a jack. <laughs> Fantastic dressing as always. There's never been a finer drunk uncle in the history of drunkles. <laughs> Team top 10, would you like to spin the wheel first or yeah. second? Uh, first. We're going first. They are going to go first, and so everybody on the floor needs to know the updated rule changes. So each category is going to be six questions deep as opposed to the four that's in the singles tournament. Six questions deep. If you guys don't like the category you spin, you do get a mulligan to spin again, unless it lands on the opponent's choice slice, in which case you will be stuck with whatever category your opponent wants to saddle you with. Now for round two, the team members are allowed to communicate on each and every one of these six questions. So it's real collaborative effort, but don't talk too loudly because if you get your question wrong, the opposing team may steal. Mm. As is always the case in round two, each question is worth two points. If you're not sure about the answer, you can go to multiple choice, in which case the value of the point goes down to one. Team top 10, get those muscles ready and give her a spin. Oh, and we do multiple choice in this round, right? As I just mentioned, yeah, not yeah. eight seconds ago, we do multiple choice in round two. Thank you, Mark. John Rocco wearing the blindfold last week, wearing earplugs this week. <laughs> <laughs> no! Well, yeah, we'll... Movie no, release, release dates. dates. A favorite category of Scott and, uh, Mance. Of John course. Roca has yeah. declined that. No. The he only had person that likes that category. Spinning again. And now, of course, they will be forced to answer whichever one they land on now. Oh, Disney. 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 I'll take it over release date. Yeah. I'll take it over release date. Yeah. It, it is. Okay. Damn it. The release date of this Disney movie. Yeah. <laughs> Damn and it. for Disney movie release dates, Crap. John Campia will be asking you guys your batch of six questions. Keep in mind, you can check the multiple choice, but remember your opponent can steal if you answer incorrectly. Now, although the teams do get to collaborate on this one, do keep in mind, you still have a 10 second time limit. Ooh. Question number one under the category of Disney. What Disney character has a best friend named Timothy Q. Mouse? Dumbo. Dumbo. Correct for two points. Like the Vienna Boys Choir, they answered in unison. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Well practiced, gentlemen. Question number two under the category of Disney. What is the name of the octopus-like villain in Disney's The Little Mermaid? Ursula. Ursula. Correct for another two points. John, their timing was a little mm. bit off on there. They perhaps <laughs> we'll got We'll work around. on it. <laughs> the third question under Disney. In Disney's The Rescuers, what precious object is the devil's eye? Um, Five, four, Multiple choice. All right. The question is now worth one point. Option A, an emerald. B, a sapphire. C, a ruby. D, a diamond. Of course. Damn it. Of course. Five, four, three, two. Diamond. Correct. <gasps> yes. They had yes. to reach way nice. up their anal cavities for that one, but they managed to pull out a diamond <laughs> and a point, John. Heading in now to the fourth question under the category of Disney. What was the first full-length Disney movie to star Goofy as the title character? The Goofy movie. A Goofy movie. The specific answer was Disney's A Goofy Movie, but we will accept <laughs> A Goofy Movie for two points. But nice. don't let that mistake nice. happen again. <laughs> <laughs> Question five under the category of Disney. What actor is the voice of the satyr Phil in Disney's Hercules? Oh, Danny, Danny DeVito. DeVito. Correct for two points. <laughs> They're back singing again, John. <laughs> what are the odds? All right. And the final question under the category of Disney. 
The character of Thomas O'Malley is from what Disney animated classic? Multiple choice. All right. Is it A, The Great Mouse Detective? B, The Aristocats? C, The Rescuers? Or D, Oliver and Company? Yeah, which one's got a downtrodden Irish character? I don't know. <laughs> Five. Three of them? Four. I would say B. Three. Yeah, sure. B. B, the Aristocats, is correct. Yes! Yeah. No. Wow. John, that was a most impressive. From a category that Team Top Ten was not particularly excited about, but that got straight, downright goofy how good they were at that category. <laughs> it is all of a sudden 15 to 3, a gash on Rotten Tomatoes, Ooh. but they still have their round two category. Team Rotten Tomatoes, spin at your leisure. Spin that shit, Atchity. <laughs> <laughs> round it goes and it lands on... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no? yeah. All right. Danny DeVito. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do they have I protest. Okay. 80s movies? Nice. Ooh. Sure. Think? Sure. All right. I'm in sure. it. 80s movies, and they are going to keep 80s movies. Here we go. You guys have a tall mountain to climb, but if there's one team that can do it. Ain't it, no mountain high enough. enough. Even better singing voice by, on her own than both of Team Top 10 combined. High in the horn. Here the are your questions, <laughs> which you all can totally collaborate on for each and every one. Cool. Who plays the title role in My Stepmother is an Alien? It's Kim Basinger. Two points right off the bat for Rotten Tomatoes. Your next question, which urban drama has hmm. Sal's famous pizzeria at the center of its action? Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Wow. No two hesitation. For two, who played Michael Keaton's working wife in the <laughs> 1983 comedy, Mr. Mom? Oh. Ooh. That would be Terry Garr. Nice. Two more nice. points yes. for Run to Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is on, John Campia. And now we move on to number four. Which weapon is used to kill Yvette the Maid in Clue? Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. That would be the noose. We will accept the noose. Yes, we will. Oh, yes. It was the rope that Starting done it. Back. Nice. And now they are two questions away from a perfect category. Your fifth question. Take it easy, facial hair. <laughs> In what Tom Selleck film does Kiss member Gene Simmons play the villain? Runaway. Nice. Uh, Sad nice that he knew it that early, but nice it helped him out for two yes. points. <laughs> What a coincidence, right. we have Tom right. Selleck on the team. Right, in the 80s Tom Selleck movie. <laughs> <laughs> and John, they are one question away from running the table. Absolutely, a perfect category. What actor plays journalist John Reed in the film Reds? Right. Go ahead. Warren Beatty. I do not believe what my eyes are telling me. Wow! Tie ball game. They needed a big category. They got Amazing. a gargantuan one. We are now tied Amazing. at 15 going into round three, John. Unbelievable. You fall behind by just a little bit. They hit the pedal. They pull up neck to neck. <laughs> That is amazing. I'm choking on their greatness. And now we move on to round three. Nice and man. round nice three is a similar format to what we've done in past team tournaments, but just as a refresher for this team movie trivia showdown competition, you each will select three numbers. Each team selects three numbers. Those correspond to a movie category on our sheets here. Mm -hmm. Now, one of you will answer the one point question. One of you will answer the three point question. Once you hear the category, you can determine which teammate will answer which question. And then for the big five pointer at the end, you guys are allowed to collaborate. There is no stealing in round three. We are tied Rotten Tomatoes as the favorite in the match. You guys will get to select your numbers first. Yeah. We'll go, we'll go you first. guys may choose from numbers one to 23. 15. And two more. Mm -hmm. Lucky 13. And two. Historically not lucky numbers, what John. What was the final number? It was two. two. It was a shy two that ambled out a so great race. So to confirm, we have 15, 13, and two. And now we go to Team Top 10. What are your three lucky numbers ranging from one to 23? Uh, 23. Four. Seven. Michael Jordan, Brett Favre, and Joe Theismann's numbers. And now we go 
I don't know if I'm impressed or a little sad that you knew that so quickly. <laughs> it's a little bit of both, John. <laughs> Team top <clears throat> 10, your one point question will come first. You selected the number 23 as your one point question. The category is family films. Which one of you two fine members of Team Top 10 will answer the one point question? Okay. I'll take it. All right. Under the category of family films, which film had the tagline, It's a Jungle in Here? Five, four. Cheaper by the dozen. Incorrect. We were looking yeah. for Jumanji. Uh, Jumanji, the board game Jumanji, being remade by The Rock and Kevin Hart. Can't wait for that one. And now we go to Rotten Tomatoes. You guys have your one point question in the category of crime movies. Mm. Do you, want to take that one? you look like you don't want to, so <laughs> I will take it. <laughs> Hell of a chemistry you guys got going. Matt Ashley, <laughs> in crime movies, what 2000 movie stars Brad Pitt and had the working title, Lock, Stock, and Six Stolen Diamonds? Snatch. One point for Rotten Tomatoes. There they go. They edge into the lead, and we go back to top 10 for their three-pointer. Yeah. All right. So this will be to John Roca. Your second number you selected was the number four. That is the category of action adventure. Oh, maybe I got a shot here. Name the four actors who have portrayed Jack Ryan in the Tom Clancy novel-based films. Oh, geez, Harrison Ford, Ben Affleck, uh, Chris Pine, and Alec Baldwin. Correct! Nicely nice. done. For nice the three-pointer, and they come back yeah, into the lead. We would have given him four points if he did it in chronological order, but nonetheless, <laughs> well answered, John Roca. That was not said! Now we go on to Rotten Tomatoes, your three-point category to Gray Drake is horror films. Yay! Woo! <laughs> and it's in a genre I think they're really going to appreciate because your question is, what 1980s horror film has the line... You're a creature of the night, Michael, just like out of a comic book. Hmm. I'm going to say Five. Fright Night. That is incorrect. We were looking for The Lost Boys. No! Oh. I'm sorry, Keeper. The Lost Boys You're and now fired. Rotten Tomatoes. We're going to stick with you because if you do not hit this five-point question, the win and the chance to match up against those sexy schmoes in the championship match goes to top 10. Your five-point question, which you can collaborate on, is in Tom Hanks movies. Oh. <gasps> Tam Hanks. Tom Hanks movies. What 1980s film starred Tom Hanks, Shelley Long, and diehard baddie mm. Alexander Gudinov? That would be The, the Money, Money Pit. Pit. They are in the lead. Oh, yeah. It is 21 to 18, and now all of a sudden, John, Team Top 10, it's do or die. Oh, team Top 10, Why you does it always are end up allowed like to collaborate on this answer. That's been if you answer correctly, you win <laughs> this <laughs> match and move on to a title in shot against the Schmoes. If you miss, you walk away in utter shame and defeat. <laughs> <laughs> no truer words Come have ever been spoken. <laughs> Your third number selected was the number seven, and that gives you the category of 90s movies. Name the actor who appeared in the following three films. Glen Gary, Glen Ross, The Firm, and Apollo 13. Five, four. Yeah, you see the second film again? The Firm? The three movies are Glen Gary, Glen Ross, The Firm, and Apollo 13. Three, okay. two, Ed Harris. And your winners, John Roca yeah! and Matt It looked like it was in doubt for just a minute, but once again, John Roca, Team Top 10, pulls it out. 
final question. Team Top 10, who didn't even hear the question right initially for their big <laughs> five-pointer. They ended up winning it all, and they will move on to play the Schmoes No team. John Campio, what a display of sportsmanship we saw today, and also some pretty damn good movie knowledge. Look, we were expecting a battle of titans in this one, and it came down, as a lot of us thought it would, to the very last question. And look, John Roke is on a roll here. You've got to be a little bit of a fool to be betting against him at this point. That is absolutely right. And for more with the winners and the losers, we throw it over to Josh Makuga right now. Take it away, Mr. Makuga. All right, movie trivia Schmodown fans, I'm here with a team contender now going up for the championship. Uh, team top 10 with an um, unbelievably impressive win. Again, on the last question, John Roca, familiar with the scenario. How are you guys feeling right now? Uh, I'm exhausted, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm emotionally exhausted. These things keep going down to the last question. But hey, ever since Bespin, I've been able to come through on that last question. So I think we can bury that once and for all. We've buried it. It's done. You can make your jokes about it, but it no longer has an effect on me because we keep coming through, and that's what matters. Matt and I, we deserved our shot at the title last year, and we didn't get a shot at it. JT and Finstock squeaked through by the hair of their asses, and now we have a rightful shot at Team Schmoes, and everybody better get ready. Kind of hard to bury things in a cloud city, if you ask me. Uh, Matt... This is your first, uh, I mean, this is your first victory here in our new format of the team title. You really came through. When it's not rigged against me with questions that nobody will. Which stenographer oh, was guy <laughs> coming in here with? Baloney! The, the, the questions I got last time were like, I, I don't know. I need to, this feels like the first edition of Trio Pursuit, right? When they started, you know, talkies came out and they're like, hey, board games are fun. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's bring in good old Matt Nost over here. Questions I have no idea. I love the new format. Uh, we're going to be champions of the new format. Yeah. We're going to have the damn belt. Harloff and Ellis, you're going down, all right? No moss is what we're saying. We're going to Duran you. That's what we're going to do. You're going down. Uh, I don't think I want to ask any more questions because the fervor is already at a fever pitch. We got Team Top 10 versus Team Schmoes. Can't wait to be a part of that match. Congratulations, guys, on the victory. Uh, I will never mention Bespin again after this interview, I promise you, unless something weirder happens. Uh, oh, so there's a caveat there, obviously. Oh, yeah. But, guys, Team Top 10, today's victor, ultimate movie trivia showdown, Team Edition. Back to you guys. All right, guys, here, uh, the team tournament, movie trivia showdown. Here with the unfortunate losing team today, uh, Team Rotten Tomatoes. I think you guys are fresh. I'll just, I'll tell you that much. And I think what the entire audience right now is thinking is, we've never seen a perfect second round. Did you know every answer like that? Because, I mean, you guys look rapid fire good. Uh, I, you know, the strength of this team is the partnership between Gray and I. And if there was a game where it was all collaborative answers, nobody would survive. That's true. I'm just gonna throw that out there. No survivors. No survivors. <laughs> yeah, our trivia knowledge is really varied, and so right. that's why we pair up well, yes, you're right. We are greater than the sum of our parts. Spelled G-R-A-E-T-E-R, greater. Uh, now, how did you feel going up against Team Top 10 before the match, and how do you feel about them now? Were the com were the opponents? Were the opponents? Were yeah, the opponents? Yeah. Uh, they know their stuff, I'm, you know, and I don't say that lightly. They they know got had some good good answers, some good polls. Uh, I was very impressed. Good guessers too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who would you guys like to see? Uh, maybe I mean because this isn't the end of Rotten Tomatoes. You guys prove that you are worthy of a title. Who would you like to maybe see next? Is there any teams out there, people that you would like to challenge, perhaps? For me, it, my focus is all on top 10 and the schmoes now because those are the only two that we've ever fallen to. Yeah, we need to, I, I kind of want to rematch. I want another shot at the title. Rotten Tomatoes, top 10 too. We can, we can smell it from here. If you can smell what the rock is cooking, you can also smell the rematch. Uh, Matt, I think what fans- It smells like hot dogs. <laughs> is, you know, Gray has competed in the singles. Why haven't you competed in this? You know, it's, uh, I, I've been busy working on my tan. Uh, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to find me inside. Uh, I, I got to try and find time to make it happen. Well, the, the fans want to see you in the singles, and I want to see you in the singles. Nobody wants to see me in a singlet, though, no, just to be I clear. Wanna see, I want to see you in the singles just so you're not in the office, <laughs> basically. Says the girl who's never in the office. <laughs> Some inside workings here of Rotten Tomatoes, guys, <laughs> on the movie Trigger Smodown. Congratulations to both of you. We loved having you here, and we can't wait to see more of you. Guys, back to you. 
Well, you saw it right there. Both competitors, each team really wanted to win, John, but it could only come down to top 10, getting that Ed Harris question right. They move on to play the Schmoes No team next in a, a young format here for the movie trivia Schmodown, but I think it's going to be a long-lasting one. Yeah, I'll tell you what. When Ron Tomatoes hit that leprechaun question, I thought, that's it. It's <laughs> destiny. They cannot lose this match, but once again, Team Top 10 comes through at the end. Spe spectacular performance. Not Just even amazing. A leprechaun question can make them lucky enough to win, but a hell of a matchup by both teams. That is John Campia. My name is Mark Ellis. We want to thank everybody out there for watching the movie Trivia Schmodown. Team matchup here today. Make sure you subscribe to Collider Video for future matchups, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.